Today, you will know that the Lord will come and he will save us. And in the morning, you will see his glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, the mighty God and Prince of Peace came to take our sins away. We ask him to renew our lives and the face of the heaven. Lord Jesus, you were born in Ember Human family. Look at us with tender eyes and heal us from our weakness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus Christ, <clears throat> you were born in our poor world. Deliver us from our poverty and help us stand against all the humanizing act. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came among us as a little child. God eternal. Look at us with merciful eyes and help us grow up in true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Bring us your healing forgiveness, Lord. Fill us with the grace of your love and lead us to the life everlasting. Amen. Give glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship. Let us pray. O oh God, who oh gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as our Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as our judge, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the readings.
the first reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the road of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful, from David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Responsorial Sam, your responses shall be. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Your response. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Your response. Today is a Savior, Christ the Lord. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all peoples. Your response. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to rule the earth. Your response. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. With justice, he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Your response. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ who gave himself for us, to deliver us from all lawlessness, and to cleanse us for himself, a people as his own, eager to do what is good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. <clears throat> all together, please. Alleluia, Alleluia. Good news, Good news and, great and great joy to all to the, world. the world. Today, Today is, born is born our Savior, our Savior Christ, Christ the Lord. The Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar, Augustus, that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinus was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, that is called 
Bethlehem because he was of the house and family of David. To be a whole with Mary is betrothed who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region, living in the field and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were strong with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those with whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters, today is a day of feast, a great day for our humanity, because God has accepted to visit us. He has decided to share our story, our human story, a story with many disasters, and this time around, we are afraid during this time of pandemic. But God he has decided to come and share with us our problems. And we must be happy because we are not alone. He is with us. He is Emmanuel, God with us. From the beginning up to today, God still is continuing to be with us, helping us, giving us his, his power. And today I would like to share with you something about the gospel. You know, in the gospel we just heard, there is a contrast. In those days, a decree from a king, Caesar, there is a kind of news. All of, I mean, all of us, we have to go there. Even Mary, even the mother of God, even the house of God. If you remember during the last Sunday, when David, the king, wanted to build a house for God, God told him, no, you can't build for me a house. Myself, I'll give you a sign. And the sign is Mary, because she is full of grace. See how humble the couple is. There is a, a king who is calling them. Yeah, they have to move. Mary also, Joseph, they are moving to go there. They are very humble. But you can see in Mary the house of God. That the promise, the, what God has said to David will be accomplished. And there is something that... Uh, I was surprised. This news, the good news, is not preached to the king. The king is in his palace. Caesar is in his palace. But the angels there went to preach, to announce it to the shepherds. Some, someone, people who don't have powers. If you know shepherds, they are not in the city. 
So they live outside the city. You know why? Because there is something bigger, great, which is happening. The surprise of God. God is surprising us. And only people who have, who have faith, who has the possibility to change, can accept the good news from God. Has men sometimes who have like, you know, the kings, everything is already organized. We try to put plan in our days, in our lives. We know already what will happen tomorrow. We know that today we want to build this, this city. We want to change. There is no place for God. There is no place for surprise. This is why God is going to see the shepherds, people with humble spirit, people who can change. See, they were taking care of their shepherd, I mean, the flock. When the good news came, they changed. Let's go and see the sign. Maybe tomorrow you listen what happened to Herod. They went. And the three king went to see Herod. We want to see Jesus, the king who was born. You know the answer. You first go and I'll come because he has already his ideas, his plan. So today we are celebrating Christmas. Jesus, Emmanuel, God is telling us that we must be open, humble. And he, he wants to guide us. He wants to surprise, to give us some joys. Only when we can change, open our heart. I will invite you today, tonight, to be happy. I know that we are afraid. The coronavirus, you know, it's a situation where we are afraid of our neighbors. We are afraid of something invisible. It must be everywhere. One day I was watching the president from France, Macron, was saying, I was following everything, but I don't know how I become sick. So today, for us, celebrating the nativity, the feast, is to be confident, to let God guide us, because we trust in him, because he's so powerful. And the first reading says, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Darkness. Darkness can be our fears, our sins, and all the bad things that we do. Today, God is telling us, be calm, live in peace, follow my child because I'll be with you even during this time, during your history. I'll be with you, I'll give you power, I'll sustain you, I'll support you during your, your work, during your mission here in this world. May God help us. May God help us and guide us as he did with Mary and Joseph May God also help all the refugees around the world. Our world now, there are many refugees. They don't have house, houses, they don't have accommodations. So today we pray for them. Amen. Please stand. Let us profess our Greek. I believe, I in, believe God. in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven, heaven and earth, and, and Jesus in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, Son our Lord, who was, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, and, and was buried. buried. He descended, he descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Today, the Prince of Peace and our Savior is born. With great joy, we implore the Lord that the good news of the new world may warm the heart of hope, and so we pray. Lord, stay with your people, that all Christians throughout the world may share the joy of this holy night and rejoice in the light of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord stay with your people that Christmas may fill with great joy all our families and bring a lasting peace among nations, especially those in conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord stay, stay with, with your heart. people. That this feast may be a celebration of joy for all children here and far away, particularly those who suffer or are ill. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, stay with your people, that our communities may appreciate the true spirit of Christmas giving and may see and welcome the Savior in the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, stay with your people, that the faithful departed may be granted everlasting peace and joy in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, stay with your people. Loving Father, through the incarnation of your Son, you became one of us. May our petitions extend your kingdom of mercy, peace, and justice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we look forward, O oh Lord, to the coming festivity, may we serve you all the more heavily for knowing that in them you make manifest the beginnings of our redemption through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mercy of the world made flesh, a new light of glory has shone <coughs> upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all yours and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. As without end, we are clear. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Celebrating the most sacred night on which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior of this world, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. Make therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon the light we fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim, we proclaim your, death, o your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have had that worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Tarsitius, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all. we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, I suppose, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be chorus to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, O my.
mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Those who are attending the Mass online are now invited to recite the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please be seated. I have some brief instructions for receiving communion. Please wear your mask and leave your seat only when directed by an usher. Please approach the priest or Eucharistic minister and receive the host by hand. Move to the side of the priest or Eucharistic minister. Remove your mask and consume the host. Replace your mask and return to your seat. Thank you.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may draw new vigor from celebrating the nativity of your only begotten Son, by whose heavenly misery we receive both food and drink, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us recite Horatio Imparata for the protection against COVID-19. God, our, God Father, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and, and to, to save, save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Ignatius. Pray for us. There are a few announcements. Please, <clears throat> Take home your missalette with you. And please leave through the designated exit doors. Please do not congregate outside the church doors or by the church gates or inside the church grounds. And uh, please uh, try not to form uh, large groups in Teresia Hall. And also please practice social distancing within the church grounds. Thank you very much. I will give you a special blessing. In three times you respond, Amen. May the God of infinity goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world and by that glorious birth has illuminated this most holy night, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illuminate your heart with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God, who wills that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to the shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you herald of his gospel. Amen. Amen. And may God who by the incarnation brought together the heavenly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor, and make you shares with the church in heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Merry Christmas. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us tonight. And again, a joyous, blessed Christmas to you and your families and loved ones. Please stay safe and healthy. And we will have a Christmas Day Mass tomorrow at noon and at 4.30. Check that online, please. Thank you for